Yes. Yes, um, there has been growing pressure for the season caution for change to draw its uh, MPs from parliament as well as in local authorities. Are you considering withdrawing? Are you going to withdraw? And if you are withdrawing, what is your strategy after you withdraw? And if not withdrawing, what is the strategy of not withdrawing? Okay. So another question. I think uh, we stated in the statement that uh, extensive consultations are underway uh, in terms of our participation in Parliament. And as those consultations are underway, there are programs and processes that are going to be unveiled which are going to complement or augment uh, uh, the, 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 parliamentary, the parliamentary process. As you have already, already heard, uh, we've got various sides of struggles. We are fighting in the courts. Yes, there are issues. People may talk about the compromise of the judiciary, but we feel that it's important to produce that body of evidence of the compromised state of our courts so that everybody can know and to continue to pile pressure on the need for the necessary reforms to straighten up our institutions, including the judiciary, the Zimbabwe Election Commission, and others. The Parliament, the Citizens' Coalition for Change, was voted into Parliament by citizens. We note the pressure coming from the public, particularly uh, Twitter and others, on withdrawal. But it's a decision that needs the party to thoroughly apply itself. As we apply ourselves to that decision, we are going to consult with all the relevant stakeholders, including the voters who voted for these people. We are going to see uh, quite a lot of activity in constituencies that were denied the opportunity to vote for candidates of their choice, for example. 